You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 342nd episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And we got a great episode for you. <laughs> I'm looking forward, I've been looking forward to this one. We finally got this cat back on the schedule here. Uh, no. Dan, the brand man, Antonelli. <laughs> Does anyone else call him that? I, I Kick Charge Creative. Mm -hmm. This guy is a genius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he yes, is, he he's is a, a wizard. <laughs> yes, I have a man crush on him. <laughs> Especially after, I, I wanted to share a little bit of a story. What's happened to him in the last year, mm -hmm. you know, he's created this great company, and he mm -hmm. just has these skills, you know, Mad great skills. team, and you're right, all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he went through a life, life-changing um, life thing here. Yeah. And he's back, you know, mm -hmm. better than ever. And I know, because so. since he's come back, he's done some incredible work for our yes. I, uh, yes. So I have to ask him, though, he's done two Jersey Two of our Jersey clients. I've got to ask him which oh, one's yeah. his favorite. All right. Mm -hmm. And see, uh, see if our clients are the favorite. <laughs> well, of course they of course are. They're right. Hello. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's great to have you here. Hey, All right. Hey, Welcome. Cleet. Hey, that's right. Cleet. Good to have you <laughs> here, mate. Hey, if, you, if you're Coming watching live, part of the live social down. audience, please mm -hmm. type live in the comments. Yes, Let us please. know you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Glad you're here hanging out with us live. Mm -hmm. um, if, if not, I hope you catch the replay. And if you did, mm -hmm. please type replay in the comments. Let us know you did. Okay. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. All listening. right. Hey, baby. Hey, honey. Hey, I, I haven't seen you all day. I mean, I feel like, <laughs> I, like, like uh, I want to talk to you. I want, yeah. I'm looking forward to talking to Dan, but I want to talk to you. We, uh -oh. we, we've well, been we separated all day. I know, because yeah. you were busy. I know. You were a busy guy. I was getting, uh, getting stuff done. I yeah. was building zaps all day, which is like my most favorite thing. Yeah. You guys don't know what zap, a zapier is. It's oh, probably good I wasn't here. <laughs> if you're a techno right. person at all. Yeah. I mean, zaps are just fun. Right. So it's me and my computer building zaps, happy as can be. So you're happy. So you're saying you didn't miss me? Uh, I missed you, you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, we missed you guys too. Mm -hmm. So glad you're here. Mm -hmm. Ted Thompson, happy hey, birthday! Ted. Happy birthday to it you, is Ted's birthday. young happy man. Birthday to you. All right. Happy Jersey Boys is live. Finish. What? We're we gonna finish this song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Top Hat <laughs> Plumbing. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, that's the All second right. person we've sung happy birthday right. to. <laughs> Last day. Mr. Ryan's anyway, in the house, Jersey, the Jersey Boys. Boy, yes. All right. Okay, so stand by there, Bobby, to see what oh, yeah. he's what it, the answer to the question is. What's his favorite Jersey brand that okay. he's done? Miss hmm? Kathy Copeland's in the house. That's right. Okay, that okay. has right. to be Dan's favorite San Antonio yes. client, I would think as well. So. That is mm -hmm. Roadrunner. Roadrunner. Roadrunner Plumbing. Plumbing. Great branding. Great design. Mm -hmm. So fun. That uh, Kick Charge did. Mm -hmm. All right. One of our faves. Who else we have in the house with Who us? Who else is checking in? Um, yeah, I'm, I got my I got my new, no, okay. it's not new, but um, my tablet here, and I get to see all this stuff. Cletus, uh -huh. Joel. Oh, Ashley, I owe you a phone call. I know. I'm sorry. We've been busy getting ready for the show. See Jacob Anne, here. Anne's here. And with Babe Plumbing, another right. great Dan. And you can see it in, um, in, in her profile picture, Babe Plumbing in the background. So... Anyway, really good one. is yours not working? Jared, Are you all right, oh. JW Plumbing. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, hey listen, listen up to this, Jared. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some branding <gasps> Ooh, with you. Ooh, JW. All right. I'm assuming, because, well, I'm assuming JW is maybe his first and middle initial. All right. Hey, um, Ricky, says, I see that. Today would have been your, your dad's 91st birthday. Oh, he passed well, away in August. Well, happy 91st. birthday, Dad. Now he's with Jesus, mm -hmm. amen. Okay, um, all, right. all right, so yeah, we're gonna be talking. Timothy. Connecticut yes. is live. <laughs> Happy uh, birthday. That is Shelby to a special um, shout out yeah. to the Thompsons. So, hey, question for you. We're going to we're going to bring uh we're going to bring Mr. Dan Antonelli Here on. In a second. I know Dan the brand brand man. Mm -hmm. I know it's just kind of fun. Uh -huh. But more he's more like Mr. Wizard or something. But Dan the brand man that's that's the, very playful. Yeah, I think but it's not it doesn't seem respectful enough though. Oh, for as good as boy. Dan is. All right. Mm -hmm. Shout out Rick's Plumbing and Cleburn, Cleburn. Clubber, Clorborn, I don't know, Texas. <laughs> um, okay, um, and I'm assuming that's Rick. All right. So good to have you Rick, here. Can you change your name. All your right. Plumbing name. Um, live here. T T to um, the T to the T plumbing. Plumbing and heating. All right. That's interesting. All right. To the Nate. Tea. All right. Mm -hmm. Good to have you here. Yeah. All right. Good to have everybody. The question for everybody. Yes, what is the question tonight? What, what's your favorite brand? 
What's your favorite brand? What's not your plumbing, favorite brand? Not doesn't plumbing. Be plumbing but anything. what's something? Yeah. What, what's your favorite brand? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, any brand that you that you relate to, and you know, you always, if you're buying something like that or that type of product, you always go to that brand. Yeah. Most people that are like Apple. They love Apple, right? And right. they only get Apple. Right. Apple, 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 which I don't understand yeah. for the life of me because I hate Apple. All um, right, Mike says just signed up with hey, Kickstarter last week. Good. All right, Mike, can't did wait. Did you change your name? <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> I say, I know I need to rebrand. I'll be rebranding soon. Hey, okay, I, well, Jared, you're this perfect show for you. Okay, mm -hmm. yes. All right, here, <laughs> listen up with this. And I always will get into it. Um, we'll maybe talk a little bit this with, with, with this, Dan, but I always, you know, uh, you know, with our clients that we get, we get to reps. talk with. What do you uh, think? Oh, I can't see him Ooh. very well, Ricky. It's right. too small. I can't okay. see it. I'll but, look. We'll look later. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's um, this whole branding, going this experience, the, mm -hmm. the kick charge is great. And, and I just, I don't have no problem saying, in my opinion, I, mm -hmm. I think they're, they're top shelf, but they're probably the best. Probably. And I know. And my, I'm trying to be able, because I, I know we had a lot of good, I just, it's like I don't want to. I don't want to smack anyone down. Oh, I'm going to say it, Dan. Yeah, Dan, yeah, they're just definitely right. the best. Okay, they're the best. <laughs> okay, they really are. okay. Yeah. all right. But I don't care. the experience, guys. A couple just said they're looking at the branding or starting or mm -hmm. considering. Hey, it's a great. They, they do a great job. They really want to know who you are. Mm -hmm. You know what you're about because that's that's part of the brand. You know stuff. Right. Dan would probably talk about that. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know the, the research they do in your market area, mm -hmm. so that you, you know you stand out and all that kind of stuff. But it's an emotional experience. All said and done, <laughs> I think. Dan Dan has made a lot of our clients cry. I, I think, it's, <laughs> and I think, and I don't think it's Dan. No, sorry, that Dan makes them cry. I don't it's know. It's just Let's the experience. Him. But they wind up crying. And guys, I always tell them, I always tell my guys here, mm -hmm. when you see the truck and it has the new brand and stuff on it, when they, when it's they okay. It and they wheel it out. It's okay if you, you know, have a little tear or something like that. You won't lose, you know, and your man, man card. card. Yes. Okay. Which we just had another client get theirs done that Dan did. Um, um, plumbing nerds out of Canada actually it's such a fun such a fun yeah. brand that was really fun right so, so anyway but it's a it's an emotional <laughs> a experience going going through this yes it is very you know, emotional and yes especially when you um, like our clients have a, um, something in mind yeah right oh duh Milwaukee get it Milwaukee tools oh I was thinking city I don't understand right. okay he was saying Milwaukee is his favorite brand okay and I think um, Ann said before Air, Air yeah, Milwaukee tool yeah so yeah. I had a favorite like a favorite yeah. tool in mm -hmm. fact, uh, that was mine uh, when Milwaukee. I, back in the day. You know, power tools came out right when I was getting out of plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Milwaukee was mine. It was a power tool. Uh, yeah. um, so, what's your favorite brand overall? Just brand in general. The lovely Laura. And that's not a brand yet. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> in my world. <laughs> well, that's true. And <laughs> Babe Plumbing says there's no question Dan and his team are the best. Are the best, yes. Thank you. Um, and just as so we kind of say this up front, if you guys ever do want to get some information about Kick Charge, just type brand in the comments and you will get a link to their their website. You can set up an appointment to meet with them. Yes. They're low pressure. But Aaron said so they just rebranded for the third and final time. And I, it <laughs> Which is, a great brand. It is sharp. Super and sharp. And that was one of the, yeah, that's Bahama Plumbing. Bahama Plumbing, yes. Okay. That, yeah, that turned out really well. And, you know, it's just, you, you know, you get the ideas, you get their ideas, you mm -hmm. try to, you put some of your ideas together and mm -hmm. put it all together and Dan just takes it and, mm -hmm. poof, I mean, it just. It's magic. Right. Makes you cry mm -hmm. when you see it. Duluth you know? Trading Company. Oh, that's an all interesting right, cool. one to yeah. be a favorite brand. Duluth, right. They have fun commercials. Well, we may, to, may come out, you know, we're talking with Dan, mm -hmm. how powerful, why do we like these brands and mm -hmm. what makes us, you know, you know, get want to use them or, or get or right, get and connect with them and all that. Mm -hmm. So we see, yeah. we may bring that with Dan. Well, let's get, let's get to Dan. Let's I want to get, let's get it. Dan on here. Okay. All right. Dan, the brand man. Dan, the brand man, Antonelli. Mm -hmm. Are you Dan in the house? Shelby, Shelby, Shelby. Hit there the he button. Is. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're on hey, the look right. at him. He's right there. Look at that. Okay. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> wow. That was yeah. a uh, hell of an intro. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you guys, man. It's been a while. I yeah. Mean, it's so hard to get booked on your show. I mean, I feel like i got to know somebody to try to get in. Well, you know, well, just grease the right. just a little bit. <laughs> no, we were talking, you know, in the green room before we getting started here with Dan, and, and we, we could swear. I mean, we... Maybe it's because we talk about you all the time that we think that we're, you know. Our clients are talking about yeah, you all the time. Yeah, I'm fine with you. So, but it's been a year. In fact, you remember because you were, last time you were on Potty Talk Live was right before your life changing event. Yeah. You, would yeah. you mind sharing? Sure. Um, I mean, last February, 
um, January and February, I started having some health concerns. I was having actually some chest pain, right? And right. I'm an athlete. I've been racing bicycles for 20 years. So not like thinking I had yeah. something seriously wrong was really actually happening. Um, but I, I had a cardiologist that I had been seeing and he ran a bunch of tests and told me I was fine. And then I was still sitting in the office, like having chest pains. And, and uh, it's like something doesn't seem right. And I went to another cardiologist and he ran a couple other tests. And then the one test he did found that I had two major blockages in my Widowmaker artery. Widowmaker, so, that um, never sounds good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So all of a sudden it's like, they're telling me I got to have open heart surgery and double bypass surgery. So oh, yeah. I had double bypass surgery in February 15th. So it's going to be a year for Come me on. soon. So I am Man. so blessed and so grateful to be here with you guys tonight and mm. just to be here every single day. And, sure. and, you know, strange as it may sound, I think that that experience was probably one of the best things that could have happened to me because mm. it, it really forced mm. me to look at the way I was doing things and to just stop and try to really appreciate you know what I had and, and, and really appreciate my team and um, you know I had to rely on them in ways that I had before because for mm. a month I really couldn't work at all and I mean they crushed it and it was great because it was just good to see that this place could operate without me doing everything mm. you know and I could, didn't do everything but I mean I was involved in things probably I didn't need to be involved right. in I, right. think, Can I didn't relate. want to be yeah. doing right. um, and feel like <laughs> through that experience I just learned to you know basically trust the people more and and oh my god did they rise to the occasion mm. as mm. far as how well they performed and um, it's been an amazing year for us it's been our most successful year um, and I've got to stay more focused on the things that I love to do which is working on brands mm -hmm. um, so uh, in a crazy way it was one of the best things that that had ever happened to me and uh, you know, I got really lucky because if I hadn't, you know, again, sought some second opinions, you know, they, they kind of said I yeah. probably would have dropped dead while I was training on my bike. So um, it's pretty, pretty interesting, um, you know, winter for me. Right. Yeah, no but, but you've come but you've come back. Didn't you say you've even hit some of the goals that, you know, you wanted yeah. to hit cycling even before yeah. so, this happened? But so, you, you know, you, before you go into surgery, you start trying to get your mind ready for it and you start trying to psych yourself up and you start saying, oh, you know, the comeback will be stronger than the setback. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really easy to say all that stuff. Um, and then after the surgery, like you're, you're jacked up for a while. Like yeah. it's, it's the real deal. I mean, they cut you in half and it's, it's not fun. Like mm. I can tell you, <laughs> like, it's not fun. Um, but I had some benchmarks as far as performance uh, metrics on my bicycle that I had achieved prior to surgery. And last month I was already exceeding that. So it, it was just kind of nice to just actually, you know, surpass that threshold mm. of where I was from a fitness perspective before yeah. the surgery to after. So mm. I'm kind of like goal driven with numbers like that, especially as it relates to performance on a bike. Yeah. So mm. like I knew all my numbers and I was like, all right, I got to get this. It was basically watts and how many watts per I, I was doing for 20 minutes segments mm. and things like that. So, um, you know, hitting those goals were, were, were certainly oh. really nice. Um, mm. To uh, you know, to really actually do that, to be to be stronger, stronger than the, the setback. And then mm. I actually started also doing uh, weight training as well. So I started weight oh, training wow. about a right. months ago, in addition to doing the, all the cardio stuff on the bike. So mm -hmm. uh, that's been that's been kind of fun too. Mm. All right, well, good. Well, you also um, shared that. Well, you kind of touched on the thing, but I like you know when we were talking before we started here about um, how. You know, you decided why wait? Like, you know, you you were watching a program or something that got you thinking about having a shore yeah. home, and it's like that was something we think about maybe doing that when we retire or something like that. But is it, it, exactly, yeah. So you know, I came came home from the hospital, and all I could do was sit on a couch. So I'm watching all these crazy beachfront <laughs> renovation shows or Morgan <laughs> Beachfront, whatever the hell they are, right? So I said to my wife, I'm like, I don't understand. Why don't Why don't we have a shore house? Like, we love the shore. We grew up on the Jersey Shore. Like, why Why don't we do that? <laughs> Um, and then within like eight weeks of surgery, we went to look at some pieces of land and we wound up looking in Delaware. And, and then, you know, four weeks later, we closed on a piece Close. of land right on the shore um, mm -hmm. in Delaware. So we're building our dream shore house in Delaware. Um, and like if I hadn't had the stuff with the heart, I don't think I ever yeah. do that. But it's the question of like, well, why didn't we do this? Like, what, we, what, were we, what exactly were we waiting for? Right. So like, again, just, you know, lesson on that is just like, 
I'm not saying, you know, obviously live crazy or spend foolishly, but like a lot of times we can do things right now, but we keep thinking that there's this thing down the road that we're supposed to be waiting in order mm -hmm. to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. like, why, why are you waiting for this again? Like, I don't understand. Like, mm -hmm. so, so we did it and, you know, now we're building this, this beautiful home and, and just really excited about that. And it's going to be awesome. And we're going to be able to make memories down yeah. there. With the That's family right. And everything. Mm -hmm. Like, so not, again, like yeah. now, like it's not, a weird thing to say. Not later. You know, yeah. right. the surgery is a great thing that happened to me. Mm -hmm. like, yep. but, yes. You know, and while you're still young enough, while you're still young enough to enjoy it. Right. right. Why, yeah. why mm -hmm. wait until you're, wait. you're retired? We call it, you know, the, that's why that really resonated with us when we were talking mm -hmm. before. Um, because in MDP world, we call it the freedom lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. all about creating this, this plumbing business, this mm -hmm. asset that, that creates wealth, financial and time. But uh, at the same time, we want to get to a point where we call living our freedom lifestyle, where yes. mm -hmm. you know, we're not waiting until we retire somewhere down the road. Right. You know, right. that kind of a thing. Right. So, so that's what we're all about. Florida. And that gets us around the brand. Branding. Branding is very important on helping that business grow. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, and, yeah, absolutely. and right, it's gonna you know it's gonna help you get quicker to living the freedom lifestyle. Yes. You know, Dan, I was talking before, um, you know, as we as we got started here, and we talked, you know, I, I mentioned, I'm sure you heard, you know, that I was saying that this is emotional. You know, working with Kick Charge <laughs> and and work on your brand can be emotional because mm -hmm. we're creating all this. And, um, and of course, you know, because we have clients that we know have, have used you and, and you know that we know that it's emotional with them and blah, 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 all right? <laughs> okay, but on your side, what, what are the hurdles, you know, when you got a guy like, you know, some, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a plumbing business owner, and of course, I have all my ideas about my plumbing business and all that <laughs> kind of stuff, right? And I come to you, what, what's a hurdle you kind of have to get over, help the you know, customer get over, client get over, whatever? that you got to work through mm -hmm. um, in this process. Yeah, yeah, what, what the brand yeah. is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think sometimes you have to remember that, that the, band, the brand that's being built, ultimately we of course want you to like it, but I'm not specifically designing it for you per se. I'm designing it for the people that you are trying to attract, that, that you're trying to uh, communicate with. So um, and yeah. a lot of that too, especially is, is designed to appeal to women because women are primarily responsible for making a lot of the first contacts with it. Mm -hmm. so, so people have to realize that branding has to be designed to almost address the bias that homeowners bring to the table with them. So they have a bias against contractors in general. They're worried about who's coming to their home, uh, who's going to be providing service mm -hmm. to them, are they going to be honest, ethical, uh, treat me fairly, uh, not rip me off. So those are all things that like this brand is trying to counter. Mm. So I'm trying to lead in with something that's positive. I want them to feel something about your company before you even get there. Um, so so sometimes, you know, clients are like, oh, well, I don't like blue or I don't like orange. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can work around that. But maybe Mrs. <laughs> Jones loves blue or maybe she loves orange. Mm -hmm. So you gotta just, you know, rethink about who the brand is really ideally meant to attract mm -hmm. um, and approach. So sometimes that's 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 a challenge. But of course, within reason, like you have to like your logo too. like you're going right. to not be happy if you're looking at this logo that you hate every right. day. Exactly. But once you understand that who <laughs> it's really designed for, um, then I think it becomes a lot easier to figure out, OK, well, here's why they were doing this or here, here's why they were recommending that. Mm -hmm. But it's always a give and take. It's always listening to what the client is saying mm -hmm. um, and, and hearing their feedback and saying, OK, well, they're saying this. I know I know what the issue is that they have a, ch a challenge with. If we tweak it this way or if we address this or if I can just speak to why we did something. Um, as opposed to what they're asking for as well, like, you know, mm -hmm. it, it has to be a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so mm -hmm. de definitely. But, you know, to your point earlier, you know, when you, you guys were talking about, you know, people crying um, and things <laughs> like that. Um, I, I mean, listen, first of all, for, for us, it, it's just very, um, the feedback that we get on our work is, is our why. Like mm -hmm. when, when people tell us your brand has changed our lives, like what else could you possibly be asking for right. outside right. of that mm -hmm. as, as an owner of a, of a company to say, 
your work has changed our lives or helped us to hire 10 more people or, or whatever the case may be. So mm -hmm. when we hear that, I mean, that, you know, that's our, our we want to cry when we hear that, right? Because mm -hmm. that's, that's what it's all about. So mm -hmm. finding our why um, is so related to the results that we're able to get for our clients. And, uh, and you know, listen, changing lives with design. I mean, that's, that's, that's a really powerful thing. And, and I mm -hmm. think that that's the difference also, the way everyone here on this team approaches the work that we do is we know that the work that we do um, has the ability to change lives. Uh, right. And as such, there's a huge responsibility that goes sure. along with that, right? Mm -hmm. So you, we always say design like lives are at stake. And, and, you know, I teach rap design to other artists and other sign companies, and I'm always speaking about that. And I'm like, if you can actually accept that responsibility of what mm. you're doing and how critical the role is that you have for that business, then amazing things will happen. But, you know, listen, not a lot of people have that, that passion for it. You know, they're just right. like printing shit and like throwing it on, on the right. side of a truck and they move mm. on with their lives. It's like, right. I can't move on with my life. Yeah. You know, <laughs> make sure it's you know? Yes, and it's obvious when they do that. Right. You know, you can you can tell when that's when that happens. You know, just we did your like brand, that. so how's, how's that been working for you, right? Million so that's dollar fun. plumber? That's right. You did, right. The you did you are, right. Well, and it was going <laughs> you to... You didn't make us cry. Right. <laughs> Not even once. Well, at, at, did you? Cry? We, we cried it when we got it after we. Oh, we did. Yeah, no. but he never made us cry okay. during, during the process. He, <laughs> he wasn't mean to us. No, he, he wasn't mean to us. <laughs> at He's all. Not, Dan's not mean to anybody. <laughs> but I would like it. I like in our process. I can relate, of course. I know with our clients, but like in our process, I know we came to you and said, you know, this is the million dollar plumber. <laughs> it's kind of known by my face. Um, I don't take, you know, I want it to be, looks, look good and fun, but I don't want it to be serious. I don't, right. I just, I don't want to take myself mm -hmm. seriously and all that. So but that, for some reason, Dan got rid of the toilet seat in our original did, right. potty talk line. <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> but I love what you, I love what we came, we came back. You hit yes. it. You got the face, mm -hmm. you got the appeal, you know, appeal. We've gotten great comments about the Well, thing. and Dan, I don't know but, if you know, I'm, we, he's obviously got and a And it's not, it's not serious. Yes, yeah, definitely not serious. But right. he's got a hat, you know, with his face on it. And he wears it when he goes to work out. And people will stop him and go like, yeah. is that your face on your hat? And, <laughs> and he's what? like, sure is. I want one. And they're like, I want one. I want one. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, so, yeah, you did a great, great job with Jeep. ours. You saw the Jeep. I mean, the Jeep's all, right. yeah. yeah. All that kind of stuff. But you've done, a, you know, you've done most of our clients, I mm -hmm. think. Sure, that's majority, a, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, so which one was your favorite? Probably 20 right now, right? Is it, yeah. is it yeah. over 20? It's, I it's think it's over 20. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. So yeah. which it's one was your favorite? <laughs> which yeah. one is my favorite? Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> Not right. <laughs> I, I know. Right. <laughs> okay, which They're of the Jersey like ones? Important. Which one of the Jersey ones? I'll pick you. Um, you got Baron? You got, Bar you got Baron? And Jersey Boys. Boys. And Jersey Boys. Ooh, that's a, they're so different. I know yeah. they're, they're so totally different. different. Yeah. See, that's the. <laughs> Which one are you closer to from a location standpoint? Um, I, Baron, I think. I think Baron is. Yeah. No, I think Baron is down by Cape May, so they're a little oh. bit further. I'm um, not sure. Uh, Jersey, that's all I know. Well, no, Jersey. That's a tough call. That is, they're, I know. So I'm putting different. you on the spot. Yes, Jersey they're Boys so Plumbing. Um, well, that's you, and yeah. that one just totally represents um, Jersey, right? I mean, just the right. the whole feel of. Of Jersey and I don't think I've seen a photo of the Jersey Boys rap actually installed. Really? Oh, so I don't think I've actually. Seen, I mean, obviously, it's not that I know what it's supposed to look like, but I never physically saw it. And I keep seeing Baron post all pictures of the band and the snow and everything mm -hmm. like that. But I feel like I keep seeing that a lot more. But I haven't actually seen the other one installed yet. So yeah, I I look, I oh, it's great. That. Yes, it looks fantastic. Well, we and love. We have a hard time saying what our favorite, really, what our favorite is. Because yes. your point of it is, mm -hmm. um, they're they're all they're different and mm -hmm. unique, and it's just the, it's this, you know you love them all. You know, I mean, it's just on how it look. It's just a different game, which leads to it is a different game. Mm -hmm. so, so, but when we come to the game as a, we, well, I think we have a couple new um, viewers here or whatever, making mm -hmm. so they're they're looking to get brand, you know, do branding mm -hmm. or whatever. But what is what, what is a common mistake? I see right. that one. Wait, then, I don't know, Matt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. What, what, what's a big mistake that a lot of us, when they come, you know, before we actually get branded, but when we branded ourselves, mm -hmm. what's a big mistake, you know, us plumbers make? When, we're, when we start our company. Yeah, we start our company. Mm -hmm. 
and coming you know, up with the name we, we and all the things. Right. What's, yeah. I, I mean, it's funny, you know, um, you know, you're talking about naming, right? As, yeah. as, uh, as probably one of the fundamental first mistakes that it is made is the naming aspect of it, right? Yeah. So, so um, you guys know I wrote I wrote that book. Actually, I have this book here. You guys know I yes. wrote this yes. book. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Put it on the screen so they can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that way. Yeah. Yep. yep. So I'm writing another one right now, ah. and I actually just finished the fourth chapter and the fourth chapter talks about naming right and and to me that's such an important critical first step so like if you want to talk about real quick tips not to do like don't name it after yourself don't <laughs> use initials in your name uh, don't use generic names that sound like a description instead of an actual brand name uh, but that tends to be a lot of the obstacles that you have to try to work to overcome so like tj's plumbing it's so difficult to actually brand and have be sticky in someone's mind because there's no right. visual to connect TJ with anything or to connect TJ with plumbing. So you're working all this time to overcome this initial obstacle, right? So, so the naming aspect in the beginning is so important. If you can nail that done, yeah. it just makes everything so much easier. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Well, that... We've renamed a bunch of companies with, with you guys. So a lot of companies have changed their names because they've heard that. And they've experienced it also. Like I think right. you would ask, you could ask anyone that's named something like TJ Plumbing. And if TJ Plumbing is on here, I'm not picking on you. But <laughs> right. if, if you were to ask them, and they would say, "I wish I had named it after myself," or "I wish I had named it something different," because it becomes very difficult to assign a specific brand promise to that name, right. um, unless you're like super well known in, in the community. And, and and most people aren't. You know, right. a lot of people, I think. Um, you know, think they're gonna. Oh, it's my last name. People right. will, will get to know it, but it just it just takes so much time mm -hmm. and money, right? So, like, if you if you're trying to do it, the most cost effective way is to come up with a name that becomes sticky in someone's mind, and then they see the visual and they see they see the name, and boom. Because the mm -hmm. the, the goal is right. Mm -hmm. what, what's the goal? Right. Well, when mm -hmm. I need service, I remember that name, and I mm -hmm. instead of typing in plumbing repair mm -hmm. inside New Jersey, mm -hmm. I just type in. Baron's plumbing, right? Mm -hmm. and, and boom, I'm there, right? right. So, so that's how you want to try to win it. But naming mm -hmm. typically becomes a real problem for a lot of people. They just don't know a lot about what to do. Right. So mm -hmm. um, the next book that I'm doing is just 100% on home service branding. The entire book ah. is going to be basically mm -hmm. written for home service companies. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about about writing that. It's been something that I've been talking about doing for like 18 months. And then I found out that there's only like 200 copies left of this book um, mm -hmm. in print. So I'm like, all right, I got to get going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it updated a little well, bit. We'll look, we'll look mm -hmm. forward to that one then. And so. too, um, Dan, we've got, um, hopefully our producer is going to be able to pull up um, the before and after page on your mm -hmm. website. And we can kind of talk Show over a little it. Bit. So Shelby, I don't know if you got that set up or not to bring that in. If you do, Shelby, also make sure his mic stays on if yep. you switch over. But, anyway. but we'll get we'll get right back with that. We'll mm -hmm. have Dan and we're gonna we're gonna hit that. And okay. I, I got oh, we're gonna one take other, the short right. break right now. All right. Okay. But uh, I wanna I have something to give away here, Dan, mm -hmm. and we'll bring you right back. Mm -hmm. But um, hey, appreciate you watching the program here. All right. And I have something for you because uh -huh. I want you to be able to succeed. So I have my million dollar plumber blueprint and in it I lay out the exact specs that you need to build a successful plumbing business. Mm -hmm. A little bit about what we're even talking about here tonight, all right? So check it out, okay? It's free. Simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free and grab your free copy mm -hmm. today. Today. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, and yes, yeah, so Shelby, I don't know if you can do that or not, but I'd like to kind of bring up the screen share. Yeah. Do the, the screen, the um, yeah, screen, not screen share, just be that screen on the I'm on the screen, but yeah, just kind of see some of the before and after. Yeah, I'd like to show some pictures. of that. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, I, I want the question there. I got so many questions here for Dan, so but we can't have them on all night here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe is, why we show okay. these. Yeah. Well, I, do you want um, what? Well, no, we'll have to. Yeah, make it the full screen one, Shelby, if you can. Um, so go to portfolio and then before and after. Yeah, um, go to portfolio at the top, um, Shelby. And then, yeah, and then there's a before and after. And then if you can just bring up the desktop capture of that, that would be great, and we'll just talk over it. We're talking, um, there we yeah. go, I love that page. There we go. All um, right. Okay. Hey, and Dan, what, what I, as, we, as we're looking at some of these and maybe scrolling through, mm -hmm. Dan, would you mind explaining what makes a memorable brand? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. you know so maybe you know as you see these different designs whatever different things that stand out that, mm -hmm. that makes a memorable brand yeah absolutely I'm hoping, um, Shelby, yeah. I don't know if you can bring just that up by itself, just that desktop capture up all by itself, full screen. That would be great. So anyway, go ahead, Dan. Okay. I think she's probably feverishly working on it right now. All right, we do. <laughs> Sorry, Shelby. Our producer is great. <laughs> uh, we just threw a curveball. Right. There we all go. Right. I knew she <laughs> could do it. <laughs> right. There we go. Oh, Dan, can you hear it? Or can you hear us? Yeah. Can we hear you. Okay, there you go. So you see your page, right? Yep. Yeah, so, you know, just looking at the before on, on some of these, you know, again, we would just call that uh, blanding, right? So just the plain white truck uh, certainly is not very disruptive, not very memorable. Right. But yet it's clean. Um, I can see, like, uh, starting out, like I was doing that, you go back to the, yeah, um, Shelby, mm -hmm. go where they show just the white truck, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really clean looking. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that that sucks. Right, well, you know. Yeah, but I don't know. so I mean, so I would be proud of that. I was starting. I that's hey, well, this is great because we but, said everybody saw our first well, one. So anyway, but oh, there's sorry, a good one. Scroll down, <laughs> scroll down to the third one on the left. The GI plumbing that would be one of our favorites. If you would please go ahead, yeah, Dan. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. GI plumbing, just you know, again, an example of um, a wrap design that has legibility issues outside of the fact that the, the background is too busy and you can't oh, really yeah. read the name of the company. Right. So again, those are some logistical problems just even with the way in which the actual wrap was designed. Mm -hmm. So uh, making sure it's clean, it's easy to read, and it's impactful um, is definitely something that you want to make sure that your truck wraps are deploying. Um, I think also too, um, to your point, uh, Laura, if you look at the one uh, above that to the right for Georgia Air, mm -hmm. um, and you look at the before, you could say, well, the you know the before on that one is um, go up to the is, top, Georgia. There you go. There you mm -hmm. go. Yeah. So look at the before. So the before, like I can read everything, mm -hmm. right? right? But there's no story that's being told there. It's kind of this right. generic kind of graphic, mm -hmm. and then we wrote the tagline uh, with, you know, we'll make sure everything is peachy. I think it's something. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But. But the idea of developing something that's like more of a story with that one, mm -hmm. um, you know, it just makes it so much more impactful. Like, which oh, one yeah. would you remember and which one just looks like every other white man that you exactly. see? Exactly. Right. Road. Totally blended. Do you click on the load more, Shelby, too? Um, yeah. And it's so funny when you look at some of the before, almost every one of them um, is white with red, white, and blue. Right. Right. Is that right. true, yeah. Dan? Do you yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, exactly. Or us plumbers, just we're yes, not the most we creative like the, people right. in the world. <laughs> we did have orange and orange, though. Yeah. We, we, we had blue and orange, but we anyway. Um, well, I, I painted those wheels every morning <laughs> before I took off. <laughs> orange. Yes, you did. Yeah. And guys, this is a great, just everybody watching or um, listening, a great um, place to go on Dan's website, Kick Charge Creative. It's Kick Charge Creative, or is it kickcharge.com? Just kickcharge.com, right, Dan? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And again, it's it's underneath the portfolio. Just to kind of spend some time going through it, looking at these, just to get ideas too. You may think my truck's great. It's red, white, and blue, and right. it's nice and clean. If you go on here and start looking, um, you really start to your juices kind of get going. Your creative juice is going. Oh, yeah. It could be better. Right. It could be. I mean, better. So just you know, yeah, go in there and take a look. And um, look, Brandy makes all the difference. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shelby, can we go ahead and bring us uh, bring a Dan back? Let's bring, bring our Dan faces back, back on. Mm -hmm. I'll give you time to work on that. But just um, you know, just saying, the Brandy makes makes such a a world of difference. World of difference. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and we all, we don't start off, Dan. You know, you know, in our private coaching and that kind of thing, and even in the academy, the Success Academy, branding's not one of the first modules. That like could. It's not, you know, it's later, it's later. later in the right. academy. Mm -hmm. But it's the thing that I, I would like to make right out of the, sh right out of the shoot. You know, mm -hmm. going from figuring what their hourly rate really should be, mm -hmm. what's a fair hourly rate, to branding. I, I, I would do that. Mm -hmm. It's that important. Right. But it's just kind of a, you know, it's scary. It's, it's a hurdle to get over these guys because right. we, we get wrapped up in our own name mm -hmm. and we think, well, I, well, you saw some of these trucks. They look. They were, you know, nice. I mean, they were clean Am right. I, for a plumber. I mean, mm -hmm. it's clean. For a plumber. But so we get wrapped up into that, and it's just a hard kind of hurdle to get these guys over. Hey, Carmen's watching. I mean, he's doing, you're, you're doing Carmen's, right? Carmen Lacasse's? Yeah, his is done. Yeah, his turned out awesome. Yeah. yeah. Did it stay Lacasse plumbing? Yeah. It did stay right. Lacasse? Purple, like purple and light blue. Again, just again, we picked colors because everyone in his market was red, white, and blue. 
or red, red and orange, or orange and blue, and very, po- very common colors in his particular market. So we said, hey, let's do something with a different color scheme. So as soon as that truck is coming towards us, you'll know that that's a La Casa mm-hmm. uh, plumbing company van mm-hmm. so again you know colors become such a critical I- issue so you know for mm-hmm. anyone even if they're not using kick charge and they're trying to figure this out you know start with a board that has every single competitor in your market and have pictures of their vans and look at what they all look like right mm-hmm. and then you decide what approach would be more unique more disruptive in your particular market and, right. and go from that so if everyone else is using red white blue i'm not putting another red white blue brand <laughs> right. in your right. market um, mm-hmm. So you just got to think about that, and mm-hmm. and sometimes that idea too is a little scary because like I think people's natural inclination is to do what everyone else is doing, right? Sure. Because oh, right. well, it's working for them, right? Um, and here's this guy coming in saying we're going to do a total opposite of what everyone else is doing, <laughs> right. and that's a little scary for people mm-hmm. sometimes too. Um, mm-hmm. But you got to get over sort of that that, that mental fear about it, um, mm-hmm. and that's what it takes guts to sort of zig when everyone else is zagging, kind of. Yes. Kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But that's how you stand out, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Stand out from the herd, mm-hmm. you know. Step away from the herd. Do you like doing the ones with the yeah. icons the most, or the the characters? Um, you know, people people sometimes ask us if icons perform better than mm-hmm. than mascots do, mm-hmm. um, and and you know we we do we do both. Um, probably, I would say we probably do a little bit more mascots than we do more more clean and corporate icons. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I think so long as. The messaging and and the the um, branding is consistently applied and it's professionally done. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they both work well. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes the mascots are a little bit more personal. They're a little bit more warmer. The brand. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes you can assign a brand story to them a little bit more easily than you can something that feels like, you know, it's a little bit more iconic and maybe not as as personal, mm-hmm. right? So, so sometimes it's easier to put a voice to those brands than it is to something that's more icon based. Yeah. Um, but I don't really have any hard data to suggest that one performs better than the other. And you have to remember too, I think that that decision has to be market based. You know, if I go into a market and there's 10 other mascot based brands, I don't know that I want to put another one in that particular yeah. market because mm. it's kind of it's kind of saturated in that particular space. So it's like, well, we got to do something different then if we're going to be disruptive in this market. Because even if there's ten other really lame mascots, they're still yeah. out there, right? right. So right. thinking about how to do it differently always has to be kind of what drives that decision mm. um, sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, oh, okay. Man, mm-hmm. a lot of good stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate it. Um, Hey guys, you know if you want to check, you know check them out. Go this route. Well, first of all, I just you know I'm telling you to go that way. <laughs> you can simply type uh, brand is it brand brand, in, brand yes. in the comments, or you can go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash brand. Mm-hmm. All right, and and get a chance to talk to Dan the man or the, the crew there. They're, Let they're me all give great. a shout out to um, the main, uh, maybe not the main person, but one of the people that at least is one I always deal with, Terry Lynn. She's just amazing. She, I know she takes takes such great care of all of our mm-hmm. clients and um, all the MDPers. So, Terry Lynn, if you're yeah, watching, awesome. right. thank you for for all you do. Well, yeah, she, she does a great job. I had a question for Dan, and now I forgot. And it was really, really important. Okay. It was going to change everything. Well, the good news is, is we have his we have his phone number, so so we, I can ask him. Yeah, so we okay. can call him right. <laughs> <laughs> we do that. Oh, okay. and yes, Dan. See, it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. His face. Yeah, I, I got nothing. You guys didn't send me any swag. I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh, wow, we're terrible. We are bad. We are. It's in the middle. Okay. 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 It's in the, I got no hats. I got nothing. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> Will you wear a million dollar plumber hat? Right. That's the question. Okay. With Richard's Hook face. You got it. All right, man. <laughs> hey, again, really appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. Oh, and no problem. It's good to see you guys. Take care. Yeah. Good to see you, Dan. All right. And hang around in the All green right. room. We'll be right in. Yep. Please. We'll talk to you. All right. Care. Thanks, All right. Dan. Oh, Dan All the right. brand man. Oh, that's what we need to get him. Uh, we, we need to get him a shirt. Dan the brand man. Don't you okay. think? Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know. I'll design the logo myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Hey guys. hey, guys. Good stuff there. The branding is so important. Mm-hmm. And I know, you know, of course, you know, Dan, you know, it's, it's kick charge and all that. And really, mm-hmm. we just, I just tell you, if you're going anywhere, don't don't trust your brand to right. the, the vinyl guy in town. Or to of, um, Fiverr or, right. you know, one of those online places. Don't do that. Guys, there is. A, it, it's worth it, mm-hmm. okay? It's it's as important as, you know, the tools that you use, Absolutely. you know, and mm-hmm. the equipment that you're installing. That was so. a question I was going to ask him, so mm-hmm. I don't Anyway, about 
um, a truck, a dude magnet. We talk all the time about um, dude magnets that the trucks start to mm. attract because all of a sudden these these trucks, which are you know rolling billboards, right? Yeah. Um, other plumbers are seeing them all around town, and so they were thinking, man, something's, something's going on over there. And that's that, a nice-looking truck yeah, or a fun truck. Plumbing, and, right. Yeah, Jersey Boys Plumbing. I see their trucks everywhere. Right. Right? So they're dude magnets they're dude for magnets. sure. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, to learn more about the branding, and I think even... Yes. I think even Dan is in one of the, teaches one of the classes here or, or joins me in the Success Academy. Yes, he is. All right, one. you want to learn more mm-hmm. about branding? All right, mm-hmm. you need the Success Academy do where need. I cover everything, not just branding, okay? <laughs> but I, as I mentioned, how to create your own hourly rate, what a fair hourly rate really is, mm-hmm. how to create your own flat rate pricing, Super. all the right kind of marketing you need, need to do, and of course, branding, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. And right now, you can check out the Academy for free. 14-day free trials. Another free. Free. Everywhere. Free. 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 There's no excuse. (laughs) Right? All right. Hey, simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success to grab your free 14-day trial. Yes. All right. Do it. All kinds of good stuff in there. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Dan the brand man. This is all kinds of good stuff Mm -hmm. tonight. Yeah. The the stuff that he just throws out there in Mm -hmm. passing, go back and listen to him again. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, but it was great having you here. All right, branding, all right, it's key. It is key. All right, hey, as always, though, you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. All right, <laughs> so plumb like a champion. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.